We're here at the beautiful Colgate campus on a beautiful day as well, able to check out some practice and talk to some players before practice. Ryan, what was your first impression of this team? I'm going to start my first impressions with the first person I met here when I came on the Colgate campus, and that was Coach Biddle and the attitude and culture he's bringing to this program. He was out here talking about going to class on time, showing up to practice on time. Some players walked in late. They heard about it, and that's the discipline that Biddle, Coach Biddle has introduced to this program, and that's the discipline the Syracuse fans are going to see on Saturday in the Carrier Dome. I, I think the biggest thing about this team is the fact that they're so small, is, is, is really that they don't have the size to really match up against Syracuse. But I, I, I think what Colgate does have is they, they have the right approach to play a more competitive program. And, and we heard Coach Biddle talk about it before, that he wants to create football players and not necessarily athletes. So it's that specialization on football that I think gives Colgate a chance and, and a better focus against better teams. Colgate now 1-1, one one, coming off a loss from Furman where they gave up 45 points and a bye week in between that. What does that two weeks do for this team? Have they been doing anything else to prepare? I, I think the thing about the two weeks is that it gives them more time to watch film, but that's about it because these players have been excited about this game since it was put on the schedule way back in the spring. And we, and, and we talked to some players before, and they said that, that this is by far the biggest game on their schedule. It's, it, it's a game that they would prep the most for all year anyway because Syracuse is by far the best opponent, and I think that's what makes a difference in their preparation. And with this game being just the third game of the season for Colgate, I think it allows them to practice and build up their speed that they're going to face against Syracuse on Saturday. As we talked to the players, they said that there's been no letting up these past two weeks. The bye week was no bye week at all. They practiced full bore, as uh, Greg Sullivan, the quarterback, said. And how has Coach Biddle been preparing his team, an FCS team, to play Syracuse, an FBS team? I think Coach Biddle is switching things up a little bit, and he realizes that he's going to have to catch Syracuse off guard. And a lot of FCS schools think that way when they play at FBS school. And they're already out here running audibles named Otto. Some of these things, we saw some of the trick plays that they're trying to practice and implement in practice. So we're, Syracuse fans are probably going to see a lot, of, a lot of new things coming from Colgate because they're going to have to catch Syracuse off guard on defense. Well, the biggest factor about traveling to Syracuse is the Carrier Dome and, and the, the kind of environment that that sets. And, and, and we heard Coach Biddle talk, talk about before how he wants to pump music into practice and kind of make the environment more hostile so his players can train under that hostile environment. But I think the bottom line is that this is a far cry from the Carrier Dome and, and the kind of echo that's, that, that this Colgate team is going to have to handle. And Coach Marone lo looks up to Coach Biddle. He's actually been quoted saying that Coach Biddle is a legend in the region as far as football coaching goes. Our reporter Eric Foreman got to sit down with Coach before practice. Eric? Thanks, Megan. We're now joined on set by Colgate head coach Dick Biddle. First of all, Coach, thanks for joining us. Oh, it's good to be here. All right. Now, I was speaking to Coach Marone this morning, and he referred to you as a regional coaching legend, comparing you to the likes of Joe Paterno, Coach Ford at Albany. What do you think of a comment like that? Well, they need to pay me like that. They pay those guys. I, I, I think it's because I've been here so long. So I think if you've been at a place long, I think you establish a reputation, and that's quite an accomplishment, and uh, I really appreciate it. Just kind of zooming out, what do you think of FBS teams playing FCS teams, paying them to bring them in? Well, I think you need to look at it. There's two different ways of doing it. See, we're, you know, we're a championship series team, but we don't give scholarships, so we're not like the other FCS schools. Where it, they're given scholarships. Our, 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 our thing is a little more unique. I mean, when we play a Division One team, I mean, it's really, you know, you're kind of at a handicap. We don't have scholarship players. I mean, our kids, so a lot of our kids are paying $50,000 to go to school and they're playing football because they love them. We don't have the numbers. And so, I mean, there's a, there's a difference when we do it. Now, when you got, you know, with the number of scholarships in Division One now down to 85 and 65 in Division One AA, there's, you know, you know, that's why you see a lot of the upsets. And coach, just, uh, Last question. Obviously, this is a beautiful campus and a beautiful stadium, seating several thousand. Coming into the Dome Saturday, Colgate is absolutely going to bring a very big contingent, but it's still going to be a lot of a lot of fans of this team. Yeah. Certainly, I guess an environment that they're not used to. How are you going to prepare them for that? Well, I think just don't even let them tell them about it. Just, I think sometimes you, you, you make something and then it becomes a distraction when it doesn't need the distraction. So. A lot of our kids played in the Dome because we have regional kids. I mean, our quarterback played the championship game there, so we'll just work out for I thought the best way to do it was just uh, not even talk about it, go up there and play, and uh, you know, we'll play some music here, but you know, nothing, you know, you can't uh, recreate the noise or whatever, and uh, it's got to move the ball. Maybe that'll quiet the crowd down. 